Hey there guys, I'm Paul from the Quad Bros. Kyle's behind the camera, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Flysight Black Pearl. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Flysight Black Pearl, an FPV diversity receiver. Most people have probably already seen a review of this before, but I'm going to be doing this from the standpoint of a filmmaker instead of the standpoint of an RC hobbyist. The Flysight Black Pearl is an FPV diversity receiver, which means that it has two antennas and switches between the two antennas in order to get the best signal for you while you're flying FPV in the air. The Flysight also features two audio video inputs, a power input, and an internal battery, which is great for when you're out in the field and you want to fly without being tethered to a power cord. So from a filmmaking perspective, an FPV monitor is absolutely necessary. You need one in order to be able to compose your shots while you're flying in the air in order to make a nice looking aerial video. It's a personal preference, but I believe that an FPV monitor is better than flying with FPV goggles. Because when I'm flying with an FPV monitor, I can look at the monitor, compose my shot, and then switch my attention back up to my multi-rotor in the air to see if there's better angles that I could shoot from to make the video look more interesting. Okay, so the next thing to think about with your FPV monitor is clarity and how good the picture looks. The Black Pearl does a great job of this. Because it's a diversity receiver, when you're in the air, it switches between the two signals to get you the best picture possible. The only downside to any FPV monitor in general though, and even FPV goggles, is that the colors that you're looking at on the screen are not necessarily the colors that are going to show up in your final project when you're back on your computer. So make sure not to look at the colors, but only to look at the composition of your shot. So the great thing about the Flysight Black Pearl for us filmmakers is that it has two audio video inputs as well as an HDMI input, which means that you can not only use it for aerial video, but you can also use it for your normal video. So you can attach an audio video in input and see the video from your normal camera on the monitor to help you view for any shooting on the ground. Another advantage of an FPV monitor over FPV goggles is the fact that multiple people can view the footage while you're shooting it live. So for example, if you have a client, they can provide input on your video to make it better while you're flying instead of waiting till you get back to the studio and trying to fix things post-production. Lastly, a quick tip about the Flysight Black Pearl. If you're in the US like I am, then you want to change the video settings from PAL to NTSC so that you can actually get a good quality video setting. If you don't do this, you're going to get a very grainy and spotty video connection and you won't understand why. So make sure to switch that in the menu settings under receiver. In closing, the Flysight Black Pearl is a really fun thing to have. As most of you know, when you're out flying, a lot of people tend to crowd around you and ask, what is that thing? What's it doing? And it's a great thing to be able to show them what's on your screen or what your multi-copter is seeing so that they too can experience the RC hobby. If you have any more questions about the Black Pearl, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we're going to leave you with this.